Surface Laptop 3. I was excited when Microsoft announced it. I finally have it here. And of course, I put it through some of its gaming paces. Let's go find out. So what games should I be playing on the Surface Laptop 3? I decided, well, you know what? Microsoft makes Gears. I love Gears. So let's go ahead and play some Gears of War 5. Now, Gears of War is a graphically intensive game, so I don't expect this device to push out maximum graphics. I just want to play because when you buy, buy a Surface with its slick design, its polish, again, the addition of a USB Type-C port now, you get something that has great battery life, a uh, nice performance, and something you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this is matte black. It looks good. It's got a 15-inch display. Uh, it's really nice. Resolution is about 2K. It's funky, 3 by 2 aspect ratio. Um, but what is the experience playing a game like Gears of War? Well, I installed Gears, and what I got was medium settings for my gameplay sessions, which is fine because this is running, of course, uh, the AMD Surface Edition processor. This is a Ryzen 5 variant I have here with 16 gigs of RAM. So I've got enough RAM. I've got a Vega 9 graphics processing in there built in. And my gameplay sessions were fine. I was getting between 23 to 40 frames per second. That's where I was living in that range. And I got to enjoy some good gameplay. Now, graphically, it wasn't as beautiful as you like with Gears, but it meant I can continue my Gears gameplay sessions from leaving my Xbox at home, going to my Surface Laptop uh, 3 on the road, and game. Well, that to me is really, really nice. There is a Ryzen 7 variant with Vega Graphics 11, which probably will push you up to high settings on Gears. So that actually is, is something to take note and put in mind, but we'll talk about that more later on in this video. Now, I also went ahead and played some Fortnite, which of course everyone is back into playing because chapter two is out. I am terrible at it. I die quite a bit, but I, did, I think I died once in this video. Hopefully Daniel didn't put it in. Anyway, Fortnite played well, medium settings as well. And with this game again, it ran well. There were some occasions where it kind of glitched, but I think performance overall for me was really good on Fortnite. And I think this is where you would live with the Surface Laptop 3 especially if you're getting the Ryzen 5 variant. Now, if you're getting the Ryzen 7, with, of course, Vega Graphics 11, you might be bumped up to, uh, of course, high graphics here. That's just my speculation, just because of the kind of performance I was getting from my Surface Laptop 3 15-inch here with Ryzen 5 uh, in terms of specs. I think overall, you like the feel of this laptop. It's a really good laptop. The keyboard feels different for me this time. Now, um, the Surface Laptop 2 keyboard was a bit uh, clicky and more responsive in my mind. This feels a little bit shallower, I think, because of the depth and space of this uh, device. Plus, uh, while typing on it, uh, it takes some getting used to. So I was playing some Typing of the Dead, and that's a game, of course, you got to be really responsive to. And I think it's still handled well, but just put in mind, you will have to get take some getting used to. Now, the Surface Laptop 3 also has a, a removable or swappable hard drive, which Microsoft says that you do have to do that upgrade with Microsoft reps. I haven't tried it out yet because I don't have the tools, but it's something I would like to definitely check out and hopefully I'll inform you guys on that in the future. Now, as you saw, I was gaming with my, of course, uh, Xbox Elite controller too. This is an awesome controller. Uh, it retails for about 179, probably, and I think the best controller for the Xbox. They fixed the issues that I had with the first generation. It feels more compact. The grips are really nice in the edges, so it doesn't slip, doesn't feel slippery. Uh, the paddles don't interfere while I'm gaming, so I feel less uh, conscious of tapping the paddles while I'm actually, mistakenly tapping the paddles while I'm actually gaming. Uh, the triggers have three levels, so you can actually change the different positions of the triggers. And of course, you can remap the buttons uh, all the way. Now, it's great because it works on your Xbox, and as you can see, it works on your PC as well, direct connection. Um, has USB Type-C for charging, has a carrying case that has the dock built in there. You can take the dock out if you want, but if you travel a lot and you're, you like to game on the go, you want to take a controller with you, you can take it with you. And that's what I like about it. And I think it goes well with uh, the Surface uh, Laptop 3. But anyway, guys, uh, that's my thoughts on this device. I think it's, it's good 
for gaming, for light gaming. Um, you can do the games you like on medium settings. And again, remember, Gears is a graphically intense game. So the fact that it can run that, to me, says a lot. Not as favorable as I'd like, and not as favorable as I'd like with a device that is priced um, pretty much up there, especially if you wanna get uh, better performance out of this, you're spending about $2,000 for the 15 inch laptop three with a Ryzen 7 and uh, Vic Graphics 11. This version I have here is $1,500. Now, something that might be equivalent is the Razer Blade uh, Stealth 13. That's priced about 1800 with a GTX 1650. Uh, but that's more comparable to, of course, the Ryzen 7 variant. So keep that in mind, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Surface Laptop 3, as well as the uh, Xbox Elite 2 controller, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.